Hi friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to my weekly Wildcard Wednesday video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are a little more technique driven, but nothing too complicated. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I'm featuring the Mixed Drinks stamp set, and later on I'm going to be uh, adding in another stamp set called Awesomely Artistic, and this is just for a background idea. So I, again, I'm playing around with my Stamparatus, and I have all the drinks that it, that's in the stamp set. I just stuck them on a plate and then I stamped two copies just in case because when I go to color them, I just want to make sure that I have enough in case um, I screw up on the coloring or something. Nothing worse than having to restamp. And yes, I am using a little bit of CPR and um, I also broke my magnets that came with it. so. I have a reminder for me and everybody else uh, just to use one magnet. Just trust me, don't use two, use one. You don't need two because when you use two, they will smash together and break and then you'll cry. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just doing some simple coloring with my markers, um, my, my blends markers, alcohol markers. Uh, you can use anything though. You can use, um, you can actually even use the stamp set actually has the um, liquid so that you can just stamp it. It's kind of cool. I wanted to use the markers. I wanted to practice with my markers. Um, it's real simple coloring too. It's just two shades. I'm kind of blending between the two. And this is just a bunch of mixed drinks. Like I don't even know. I mean, that might be red wine. Don't know what the purple one is really. It's, I've put an umbrella there, so um, on the on the actual card, <laughs> um, so it's something fruity. I think this this could be root beer or it could be like a lager. I don't I don't drink beer, but um, it yeah, it's kind of hard. You're limited with the amount of markers that we actually have. So anyway, um, what markers did I use? Bermuda Bay. Uh, uh, pumpkin pie, cherry cobbler, rich raspberry. I even threw in one pink pirouette, the dark crumb cake, light pool, and um, a little bit of the color lifter as well. And then um, just to add a little bit of, to make it look like it's liquid in there, um, I used a Uniball Signo Broad Pigment White Ink Pen. You can get it at Michael's. Stampin' Up! used to sell it. And it is really good for, you saw what I did there with um, removing some of the bleeding marks against my white um, froth on the root beer. But also, um, I like to draw the line and then a couple of dots, and you'll see it coming up. Um, how uh, it, just to make it look like it's um, shiny glass liquid types thing it just adds to it anyway I'll point it out when we come to it next so I fussy cut these and um, then there was a fly in the house and then the cat decided to run right over my work like really okay so here's this thing so it's a little line and then it's boop, 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 three little dots, either at the top or at the bottom, whichever you want to do. I don't know which is better, but it actually does make it look more like it's a shiny reflection on glass. Does that make sense? I tried to do it with, with the color lifter, but it just didn't work as well as the signal right. So anyway, moving on. So here's the smoky slate ink. And this is, uh, these little speckles are from Awesomely Artistic. So that um, just gave me something to put these mixed drinks on. I use Memento Tuxedo Black ink to for actually all the black, um, the outline of the um, mixed drinks and also for the sentiment. And the sentiment says, here's to you and your amazingness. So I'm adhering the uh, root beer, um, 
uh, with fast fuse and then all the mixed drinks um, either with dimensionals or flat on the card um, with fast fuse. I actually like all the little things that you can put on this. You could put an orange wedge or a little umbrella or a cherry. There's a couple of things that you could do with this um, with this set and it is retiring. So it's one of those things, right? You got to use it um, or, you know, if you need something like this, this is a great uh, stamp set to get. Um, I used a bit of Smoky Slate cardstock to back my sentiment up with and I placed that on the card with fast fuse but the piece de resistance the thing that makes this card work and look almost realistic is the fact that I went over every glassy looking part of the card with my fine tip glue pen and it also did something weird the fine tip glue pen made my ice cubes in the pink pirouette wine glass. It made the ice cubes disappear. You'll see it in pictures at the end. They look like marshmallows, kind of. <laughs> it's a mixed drink and it's a handmade card, everyone. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.